we did it in terms of uh, two by two matrices, uh, A, B, C, D, for example, and, and found a solution. So it has solution, and uh, we had to, to, to use, uh, for example, it depends on the speed. Beta is uh, the speed uh, divided by the speed of uh, light. And what we found was that L of beta is equal to, to, to we called it gamma, minus beta gamma, minus uh, beta gamma, and gamma. And uh, gamma is uh, 1 divided by 1 minus uh, beta squared to the power of 1 half. So that, that's what we did last time. And these are the Lorentz transformations. From this one, uh, we obtained uh, the, the Lorentz uh, contraction. So today, uh, or, or what we did, uh, did uh, ye yesterday, is to actually introduce more general concepts. And one uh, concept is uh, four vector. Uh, we denoted as a thing with indices, four indices. And they can be uh, upper or lower, and they are not the same. And they are related in the following way. Uh, X uh, mu is equal to G mu mu times uh, X uh, mu with an upper index. And I introduced already some notation. So, so this is a group letter. And by and Greek letters run from 0, 1, 2, 3, and Latin from uh, 1, 2, 3. So that is uh, K. So that's a convention. The second convention is uh, this appears twice. So there's a summation convention. And it actually means that mu runs from 0 to 3, uh, G mu mu times x mu. And in relativity, you never write this sum. It is always uh, implied when you have repeated indices. And indices which are summed over, uh, always you have one that is down and the other is up. And this is a very important object. Uh, that's the metric tensor. G mu nu, I wrote it downstairs, is the metric tensor. Uh, and it is equal to uh, minus 1, 1, 1, 0. These are all zeros. So this is metric tensor. And this is the so-called flat metric. PG11 and so on? Uh, yes. So, so uh, this is the, the time time uh, element. This, this is the xx, yy, and cc element. So, so that's the metric. And so if you have a scalar product, I, I first wanted to, to explain plane vectors. So the Lorentz transformations. So what we saw is that there's an in, invariant. And let me call the first, first we need vectors. Four vectors are all objects that, so last time we saw the, the, the transformation properties of x mu, uh, which was c, t, uh, x, uh, y, and uh, z. And four vectors are objects that, that transform as x mu. So they have the same uh, properties, the same transformation properties. So they transform in the same way on the Lorentz transformations as the x mu. But they are not uh, coordinates. They can be different things. They can be electric fields, uh, for example, or, or it can be accelerations or momentum. So, so there are many different uh, four vectors. And Four vectors, they can have a scalar product, uh, A mu, uh, B mu. This is scalar product. 
And, and here there's a summation implied. So this is equal to A0, uh, B0 plus uh, A1, uh, B1 plus A2, uh, B2 plus A3, uh, B3. I should not try too sloppy because. So, so that's scalar product. We also know that uh, this scalar product is also equal to A. I, I can write this out in terms of a mu times uh, g uh, mu nu times uh, b mu. And I did not just introduce that uh, concept. That is the concept of raising and lowering indices. An index to a, a high, higher index. You do that with the g mu nu with two upper indices. The simple thing is that this is also g mu nu with two other indices. They are the same. So, so what is this? Now we have the one, the zero, zero element that is negative. So now this is a zero, uh, b zero, uh, plus a one, uh, b one plus a two, uh, b two uh, plus uh, a three, uh, b three. So, so the Lorentz transformations are all transformations that leave uh, this invariant. So it doesn't change. So if we change uh, the vector, say a prime uh, mu is equal to L uh, mu uh, nu times uh, a mu. So this is a Lorentz transformation. Then the, the scalar product uh, remains the same. So b prime mu is equal to L mu nu times uh, b nu, then a prime uh, mu b prime mu is equal to uh, a uh, here, a nu times uh, b nu. This is an index, so the name doesn't matter. So I could also write here a mu. It is all related to that, and it is uh, summed over. So, so this is uh, the important uh, property of uh, the Lorentz transformations. And if I put that in here, it becomes L uh, mu times uh, mu times uh, A mu and B prime. I just substitute that in, into here. Uh, this is now a lower index that that means that uh, this let me call this uh, mu double that's an upper index times uh, b uh, mu double so you always marry upper indices with lower indices and now you notice that um, This is kind of, so, so, so this one works uh, fine. And uh, this one uh, also works fine. And uh, they, they are together. And I can, so this is equal to A nu uh, B nu. Uh, so that's, that is a, a sum. So, so now I want to derive a relation for this L. The relation is going to be that uh, L transpose times the metric times L is equal uh, to G. And now I don't know if I got all the indices exactly right, uh, because the, the, the way you're doing is so. so This is equal to, it should be equal to A mu times uh, B and mu times G, let's say, mu alpha times uh, B alpha. And now I also have to bring uh, this upper. 
So, so, so this is uh, L mu nu times A uh, nu times L mu uh, mu prime. And now I use uh, G, say, uh, gamma. It shouldn't use uh, gamma. So, so I want also to bring this uh, up times this is a mu double times uh, I want to write it like this mu double times a uh, gamma times uh, b gamma. So now you see this is an upper index, and uh, this is an upper index, and here I also have two objects with. Uh, with I can also change this to alpha. That doesn't make any difference. That is just the name, and. Here I have a nu, and so what you see is there's an a nu here, there's a b alpha here, and also there. And now this is true for all a's and b's, and that means that the matrices has, have to be the same. So, so here the matrix multiplication, when I write this here, uh, it is actually in the wrong place. So I have to interchange uh, these. So, so this is equal to a nu times L transpose, uh, and, and then I interchange uh, the order, the first and second. So transpose means interchanging first and seconds. And then I have the relation I want. So I have here L transpose, that's this one, uh, there was the a nu. Uh, this is a uh, new mu, new upper index mu. Then here I have L uh, mu uh, mu uh, mu double, and here I have G uh, mu double uh, gamma, which I called alpha. And this uh, should be equal to G uh, nu alpha. So, so this is a symmetric matrix. It has only diagonal elements. So I can put it uh, here. So then in, in matrix notation, it becomes that L transpose times uh, G times It doesn't uh, quite work. So we have to play with the uh, indices because the indices, what I want to get, want to get, what I want to get is the following that I have here L transpose, I have here a mu, which I have, and, and here a, a mu, I want to have here G, say mu. Uh, mu prime, and here L uh, mu prime, the, the last index has to be an alpha, so this should be upstairs, uh, alpha is equal to G uh, mu alpha. So this is uh, the relation I want to get, and it doesn't uh, quite work, it works uh, here, it, it, uh, but the alpha indices are not uh, quite right. And um, so, so, I, so what I want is, 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 uh, this is what I want to get. Uh, so, so this should uh, multiply uh, this matrix and the alpha uh, should be uh, here. So, so this that is equal to L. Uh, this is now so this is L uh, mu alpha. So, so this is what I want to get. So I have L mu alpha, and now I have to get uh, this index uh, up and. 
I can do that in the following array. Uh, this is equal to uh, G. I want to get the index of. I do that with, so I want to get L mu alpha. And then I have to, and I call this, uh, say, mu double prime times G uh, mu uh, double prime. Now, this is a multiplication. I have a G, it multiplies with this, and that is what I want to get. So indeed, I get uh, the relation uh, which I wa wanted to get, that is uh, this uh, relation. So when you play with these indices, it's always tricky to get them, because they also have to match, there are different possibilities. And this is uh, the important uh, relation that I should write that. And maybe we can move again to that blackboard. Relation that L transpose uh, G, L is equal to uh, G. And then you can put uh, indices in, in various uh, ways. And so there's, uh, may maybe I can uh, put them, if I put here alpha, beta, I start here with beta, I end I start with alpha, end with beta. I could put uh, here a, a mu, and then uh, this an upper index should be here. I put here a mu double, then uh, the mu double has to become here. That is the structure of indices. This is uh, the equation I, 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 I want to solve. Now, this is a symmetric matrix. G alpha beta is equal to G beta alpha. And, and this is also a symmetric matrix, otherwise it would not be an identity. That means I have the number of relations I have, it, they are confusing. But in, in particular, this is special relativity. In general relativity, you have many more indices. So it, it's very important to, to actually understand how indices work. The game is, is uh, you have lower and upper indices when they are equal, there's always a one lower and one upper. When you multiply them, they are next to each other. And if you are not next to each other, you have to transpose it. So, so in general, a matrix transpose alpha beta is a matrix uh, beta uh, alpha. That's transposition. And so, so, so indices are, are but they are not complicated, uh, they are simple. And um, so, so it's like having a matrix. This is a four by four matrix. So it's a symmetric four by four matrix. That means if, if that, that there's this element, so this is uh, A0, zero, zero, this is A01, zero, and, and that's the same as uh, a10. So this one is equal to that. So that's symmetric uh, matrix. So for a symmetric matrix, you have 4 plus uh, 3 plus 2 plus 1 independent matrix elements. Oh, I see. And because these are the same. However, uh, this is a real matrix, 4 by 4 matrix. So it has 16 elements, Lorentz transformation. These are 10 uh, relations, so, and we have 10 uh, relations. That means we have only how many independent uh, elements? Uh, how many independent elements? Yeah. Uh, okay, what does independent mean here? Uh, that, uh, that, that, so, so how, how many elements determine the full matrix? How many elements determine the full matrix? Yeah, because you have, you have the matrix and these are relations. So you have, you, you have, these are relations for the matrix elements. And how, how many uh, elements do I have to give you uh, that from these rela relations you can determine the full matrix? I would think, uh, I would think 10, but I feel, I feel so like 10. 10 is the number of relations. Mm -hmm. 
So, so, so six, because uh, you have six elements that there are 10 uh, relations you can use. That means uh, you need at least six more uh, input. And that are the, the matrix elements. And physically, that's in, important. I These, see. So essentially, given six, six elements, you can determine the rest of this matrix? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and this is actually very physical. Because what are they? These transformations also contain rotations. Rotations, rotation matrix means L transpose L is equal to 1. Uh, do you know that? Uh, I'm, I could probably derive that from the definition of it, uh, given that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is 1. So, so, so yeah. uh, th that's, uh, uh, if you look, because in that case, for the spatial rotations, th this is only a 3 by 3 part of the metric. And uh, basically, by definition, uh, that defines uh, rotations. When when this is equal to the identity, that's a rotation uh, matrix. So there are three rotations: a rotation about the z-axis, the x-axis, and the y-axis. There are also uh, three independent Lorentz transformations. That's a Lorentz boost. Here, last time we derived it along the x-axis, but you can have it on the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. And that is uh, what you find by solving uh, the, these equations. And then, then the question is, how, how do you solve these equations? And then we, we use a very important structure of the so-called Lorentz group. Mathematically, it is a group. You know what a group is? I've heard of it, yes. I believe I know what it is. Yeah, uh, what, what, what it means is. Uh, yeah. So, so uh, what it is, is it, 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 it is a group 